So hey, and welcome to another edition of Dr what? Drive Time with Gene. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a drive time, and uh, it was uh, chatting online the other day with somebody who said that they enjoyed seeing them, so I thought I'd try to do it again. Coming up here on a runner, make sure you give the runners plenty of room. This one is on the wrong side of the road. Now there's coming up two more runners who are on the right, correct side of the road. And uh, whatever. Hey, they're out running and they're not sitting at home watching uh, reruns of um, Gilligan's Island, which would be kind of fun. But anyway, back to uh, why I'm here. I'm here because, um, and another runner. Okay, so here we are within, all right within a mile, a mile of where I live, on this nice stretch of road, there we have seen one, two, three, four runners. And that's fantastic, I love seeing that. I love seeing runners. Um, I usually get jealous if I'm running and they're not. But you know what, today I got my 10 miles in already. So um, I'm not so jealous right now. I'm kind of happy that I was able to get my 10 miles in this morning and um, move on with my day. I think it's great. Uh, the weather right now is perfect for running. The sun is setting. It's probably mid 70s, no real breeze. Um, earlier today we had a, a torrential rain uh, come through and that cooled everything off kind of nicely. It took away the humidity that was there this morning and uh, it's all good, you know? Hey, life's good, right? So that's, um, here's another thing about running. When, when uh, I've kind of done this and, you know, like I said, I used to be jealous when I would see other people running and I'm not and uh, there's no real reason to be jealous because that's a decision that I made is to not be running. You know that day whether it's that moment in the day or it's later in the day or earlier anyway but one thing that I have lately been wanting to do is when I see runners struggling you know you, you've seen them out there they look like they're having a miserable time they you know they may be in their first mile they may be in the last six miles you don't know you don't know where in their run they are but they just look miserable they look like I just want to stop. I just want to quit. I want to give up. And lately what I want to do is um, drive up ahead of them a little bit. Sorry, look at the clouds. Drive up ahead of them a little bit, uh, get out, and when they get to me, run with them. You know, not in a crazy stalkerish way, because that would just be really awkward. But um, in, a, in a, hey, you got this. Uh, we can do this. Uh, let me help you get through this next little hump and on to, you know, catch your second or third or fourth wind, whatever it is. And um, so that, would that be weird? I mean, what if you were running and you were just like, man, I just hit my wall and it just sucks and I want to be done. And then all of a sudden some stranger came up to you and was like, we got this, let's go, you know? Well, how would you react to that? I'm not so sure how I would react to that. I think it'd be kind of fun, you know? As long as they didn't do it in some crazy stalkerish way. Although if they did it in a crazy stalkerish way, that might be kind of fun too. But I'm a guy, so, um, you know, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So uh, it's been almost four minutes. That's enough time for yours for me to tie up. Hope to talk to you guys again real soon. And um, be well, do great things, and always remember, relentless forward motion. Yeah, baby, we're back! Ah, drive time with Gene. <laughs> I need coffee.